Hi there everyone, it's Vilevo to make a review of this uh, Heatway H5 500W uh, electric scooter. I'll get you to the unboxing, I'll show you what is the performance, uh, what are the special functions, uh, uh, how is the experience uh, riding uh, this scooter and also how it looks with the lights on uh, during the evening. So let's get into the video. This is the box it comes in and uh, mine there is a bit heavy and uh, now I'll show you uh, what is inside and how to install it. The first thing that has to be done is to remove uh, uh, this seal over here with a pair of uh, scissors, just like this and then also remove this one then the next step that has to be done just pull this safety till the very back just like this and then unfold it and then put the safety back just like this now it's stable once you've done this make sure you put the kickstand just like this to keep the scooter steady the next part is to install the handlebar which is pretty easy just pull the handles like this and as you can see the safety goes in on the other side the same now it is stable and now what you have to do is uh, just uh, change the position uh, of the brakes. After the handlebar is installed, this is what you should get. This is the position. And now there is uh, one more thing that has to be done, which is uh, to install the headlight. So using the key provided, you have to remove this screw, which uh, was installed over here. And then just take the headlight, change the position of this holder, which was like this, put it like this, and then make sure you uh, lock it uh, properly. Once it is done, this is what you should get. And as you can see, you can easily change the position of the headlight uh, based on your preference. Now I'll get you quickly through some uh, features of uh, the scooter. I'll start first uh, with the handlebar and uh, I would like to show you first uh, the grips. Uh, this is how they look like. They are made from uh, solid plastic and they have this shape which is comfortable to hold specifically for uh, the fingers. And here they have this pattern which uh, will allow your palm to um, get the air inside, uh, not to get so sweaty. And on the other side, it looks uh, exactly the same. The same now in order to uh, switch this uh, scooter on it uh, it comes uh, with a key i mean in fact two keys uh, which is very practical just put it in the ignition over here just uh, a switch on and then you have to press the power button which is located over here and this is the first uh, overview of the display now you have see here several options you can see the here the trip so we'll record how many kilometers uh, you can uh, do and if you press for example the m button as you can see it changes uh, the number over there which represents the speed now you're a second speed and the third uh, speed i'll show you also uh, what is the um, actual speed that you can get with if you press uh, the m button long you will see that the light will activate over there. Here is the uh, acceleration uh, uh, lever. So if you pull this one, the scooter will accelerate. And uh, here is the brake. And on the other side, there is another brake, similar. And uh, you can adjust the position of uh, this computer over here in the acceleration and also uh, the position of the brakes based on a preference. I chose uh, uh, to be like this, uh, which is more convenient in uh, my case because I just hold the two fingers on the brake and one finger on the acceleration to be able to brake uh, uh, easily. Here on the other side, we have the horn button. If you press, this is the sound that it makes. Uh, we have the indicators uh, left and right. It goes like this and uh, there is the light button over here on and off you also have the option of uh, changing the position of the handlebar up and down by opening this lever over here and then it can go uh, 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 down like this or up until this uh, position here on this side it has a nice uh, branding and uh, on the other side the same thing as well uh, over there at the bottom here at the front it has the headlight uh, and the position of it can be adjusted based on a preference i'll show you uh, how uh, powerful it is in the evening uh, and uh, there is a mud guard which is made from plastic uh, obviously the wheel uh, the brake and uh, here are the cables which are well sealed this is the locking uh, mechanism to fold and unfold uh, the scooter and uh, i'll show you how this one works uh, uh, here here there are the uh, lights for the indicators and also here at the bottom uh, there is this LED light which can be activated from the computer and here there is the charging port uh, which can be covered using this uh, plastic over here just like this at the back there is the suspension and also the brake I really like the color uh, of uh, these brakes and uh, there is a mud guard uh, which is also made from plastic and uh, there is a light here at the back related to the tires these are, ones are two blades it means that there's only one piece uh, they are uh, full inside uh, the advantage is that uh, you're not gonna get any puncture but at the same time they are not uh, uh, as soft as the ones that uh, have a tube inside the back tire is the same as the front uh, and as you can see it's very wide which offers uh, more stability while riding and also based uh, on the type of tire you can also take this scooter off-road here at the back there is also the uh, stand which is uh, very solid and keeps the scooter in a good position 
and also there is uh, uh, the motor which is positioned and the back wheel now the battery of this scooter is positioned uh, over here and uh, also i've showed you where is the charging port uh, and uh, for a full charge it will take around uh, six to eight hours i usually leave it over the night and i wake up in the morning and the battery is full unfolding this scooter is very simple you have also the option of unfolding the handlebar and uh, simply pull uh, these parts over here and as you can see this is the position and in order to put them back basically what you have to do is just uh, put them like this and make sure these ones are locked properly and as you can see uh, all good and stable in order to fold it from this side what you have to do just uh, pull this uh, pin and as you can see this lever goes like this and then just simply fold it and i'll show you one more time from this side as i said pull the pin pull the lever just like this and done and the advantage of uh, this scooter is the fact that it doesn't uh, touch uh, the mud guard over here and you can easily take it like uh, in this position and carry it around mine that is quite heavy it weighs around uh, 24 kilos now i'd like to show you how uh, wide is the footrest uh, and uh, as you can see uh, i easily can fit uh, in this position and there is still plenty of uh, room left or i can even stay in this position just like this very nice and practical or like this uh, based on my preference uh, and this is another angle this for you to get a better idea i can easily ride the, in this position or like this or i can easily fit uh, um, my legs uh, like this here at the back there are two bolts and the purpose of this ones is uh, uh, to be able to install a chair some uh, models come uh, with uh, the chair or you can purchase one separately and install it uh, on the scooter now considering it has suspension at the front and at the back uh, this is very practical for all types of uh, terrain and this is how flexible the suspension is as you can see at the back i'm jumping on it and uh, at the front to use the stand is very simple just unfold it like this uh, with your foot uh, because it has a spring inside and then uh, just uh, simply leave uh, uh, the scooter and this is uh, the position this is the angle that it stays now i'll show you how fast the start is uh, on the first speed this is the second speed The third speed, but I just want to mention that uh, where I feel me over here is a bit up here. And now I'd like to show you how uh, uh, powerful this scooter is uh, uphill. As you can see, uh, it still does a pretty good job. Now I'm at around 14 kilometers an hour and what I've noticed that if I stay a bit at the front then it picks up uh, more speed. Now I'd like to make another uh, brake test. Uh, this is the speed I'm around 16 kilometers an hour and uh, if I brake as you can see it uh, stopped uh, really really fast. Now I'm not on a scooter and if I press the front brake as you can see it is blocking the wheel and uh, the back wheel the same thing uh, which is uh, pretty good. In order to activate uh, the light is very simple, uh, uh, just press the button here and as you can see uh, the light here at the back activated and once I hit the brake it will make get more light. When I want to ride uh, this is what I do, I put the key in the ignition, uh, switch it on and then uh, press uh, the power button and as you can see uh, the scooter is on and at the moment I'm on third speed and uh, for example I would like to change the speed I can press this button over here simple as that and you can do this uh, also while you're riding now I'm on the third gear and I go downhill and as you can see this is the speed which is uh, quite uh, fast and uh, obviously it picks up more speed because it's downhill and if for example I would like to brake instantly, I can do like this and uh, this is uh, how fast it stops. Now I'm here on the field and I would like to show you how uh, uh, helpful the suspension is uh, even though the terrain is not uh, very bumpy but you can tell by uh, the footage how uh, this one uh, uh, responds 
If you're planning to ride on this type of terrain like uh, I did before, there's uh, uh, no worry of uh, getting a tire puncture because uh, uh, the type of tires uh, are full. Uh, so from this point of view, uh, this scooter is also very practical. Now, for example, I would like to show you how uh, it uh, goes on the first speed. And I'm just gonna swap like this. And this is uh, uh, the speed that you can get with it, which is like a cruise style, pretty low, but still uh, convenient. This is the second speed, which is significantly faster than the previous one. But still at one point uh, I can uh, reach, for example, only 14-15 uh, kilometers an hour. And uh, it's uh, reduced uh, to this uh, speed. Now again I'm on the third speed and uh, I'd like to show you uh, what is the speed of uh, this scooter. Now we're almost reaching 25 kilometers an hour, which is a, a standard top speed. And this is how uh, it goes. You can tell by the footage uh, how uh, stable it is on a relatively um, flat uh, terrain. And this is the position while riding, uh, which is uh, convenient uh, because I could uh, adjust the height of the handlebar and uh, to access the buttons, uh, horn over here, uh, indicators on this side, uh, left and right. And uh, here is uh, the button to put the light on, uh, very practical. And uh, I adjusted the position of the acceleration, which is on this side, uh, to fit my need. Uh, I've seen that some of them are keeping it uh, just on, on top. Uh, I find uh, this position to be more comfortable because uh, I can uh, easily brake and accelerate. Now I'd like to show you something else. Uh, for example, even uh, when uh, I ride and the scooter is on, uh, as you can see, I'm on the first uh, gear over here. And I can press uh, the M uh, button and I can change the gear uh, while riding. Uh, this is second and this is uh, uh, third and it's easy as that. As you can see this is how uh, uh, the display looks like in the evening. It's very visible while riding and it's so visible uh, the scooter is in the evening with the light on and for example if I hit the brake as you can see uh, more light will add. As you can see it's uh, very dark over here because the light is not on and just, just by pressing the button the light will activate and uh, this is how powerful uh, it is. Now in order to activate the light uh, which is positioned over here just long press uh, the M button and as you can see this is the effect. Uh, I like uh, uh, these lights because uh, will make the scooter more visible in the evening uh, while you're riding. Now to indicate uh, this is the uh, light effect uh, on uh, this side and on the other side uh, it's exactly the same. And uh, for example if I change the position of the scooter just like this uh, um, these lights are still uh, visible in the traffic. Related to the battery range because this is a very important aspect. Uh, for example a full charge takes uh, between six and eight hours but I've noticed something interesting. For example if I leave it uh, to charge for let's say two hours I can still see on the display that the battery is almost full but it doesn't last that long. And uh, on my, my situation, because I use uh, this scooter mainly on the third speed, like full power, and I go uphill, downhill, uh, I've noticed that it lasts for around 20 kilometers, 20, 25 kilometers, something like this. Even though the manufacturer claims that it lasts between 30 and 50 kilometers, I still say it all depends um, on the conditions uh, where you ride. Besides this, the position while riding is uh, quite okay. The suspension is really handy. As you've seen in the uh, video, the light at the front is very powerful. I also also like the fact that it has indicators uh, this led light over here uh, very practical and uh, one of the uh, features that I like the most is the fact that I can uh, uh, just remove the key and uh, no one else can ride it uh, if it doesn't uh, have the key and also it's a uh, foldable mind though there is not the lightest scooter and uh, overall yes I'm very satisfied with uh, how it uh, looks uh, how it feels while riding and also uh, what is the speed of it so guys, if you have any questions related to the product, uh, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll answer. There's also a link where you can check out more information. Thank you for watching and see you next time.